VFS Blender Monday is today and we're going to talk about five free powerful programs. So let's get started. Blender is a powerful program. Not only is it a 3D modeling program, but it can also be used as a game engine that can also animate a character or objects that you have in the scene. Now, it can also be used as a video editor, believe it or not. You can get video and edit it, trim it up, and also the audio, and have multiple layers and apply different effects. You can also use the movie clip editor which allows you to camera track footage and mask the footage which is great for VFX. Also the note editor is also is a, a powerful compositor that can be used to create substantial results wh whether you want to brighten the image or also color grade it. Give it a blue tint maybe or you can give it a little bit of a yellow tint depending on what you want to do. GIMP is a free 2D manipulation program that is an alternative to Photoshop. Let me show you some of the things that you can do. Let me show you the cloning tool. If I hit control and then left click, I can fill in these empty areas, which comes in handy for creating really cool results in a matter of no time. But also, let me show you, there's the color selection that you can select only a color. You can crop the image, you can rotate it, scale it, and size it, and change the perspective. But let me show you the colors. You can change the brightness and contrast to make the image really just pop. Look at that. So this is what GIMP is possible, but it, there's so much more that you can do with it. This is the Unreal Engine. Let me show you the game that I made from following the uh, tutorial online on the Unreal channel on YouTube. So uh, it randomly generates rocks or coins. And this is the blueprints, which is like a visual code that I use to create it. Okay, now let me show you the game. Woo! If I hit a rock, then I explode. So yeah. This is OBS, which is a powerful streaming program. Let me show you the settings. Uh, you got the general, of course, but also encoding, which you can choose between using your CPU or your graphics card. Pretty handy to have. Broadcast settings, which you can change to make it where it sends it to a live stream or it saves onto your computer. And you got video settings, audio, and also microphone noise gate, which can make it where your microphone actually uh, gets cut off if you're not talking to it, which can eliminate noise in the background, which is pretty handy to have, too. Now, let me show you some of the features. You can add window capture, monitor capture, image, image slideshow, text. So you could have the text on the screen. You could have video capture device, which is a webcam. Uh, you could have game capture if you're recording games and you want to live stream it onto the internet. Or video, which is a plugin that you can get to allow it where it shows video, which is handy to have also. But let me show you something really cool. So I have a little small green screen right here. I'm going to go to video capture. I'm going to go to properties, click on use chroma key, and I need to select the color, which is this color right here. And so watch this. Here's the green screen, and I'm going to bring up the similarities. And once it hits about 350, close to it, you're going to see that, um, yeah, we have, let me hit OK. So you can see where this could be pretty useful. For instance, you could have green screen in the background, which makes it where you could replace your background instead of your bedroom or what, whatever scene you have. You can make it um, whatever you want, really. So that can be extremely handy. This is HitFilm 3 Express. It is a completely free program, and it used to cost around $100, but now you can get it without paying anything. 
go to edit and if you see this it's, you can video edit you can also composite with this program and you can add in different effects so let me add in a uh, rain effect bonfire and then a uh, sci-fi shockwave so let me hit play and see what happens so yeah you see how simple it is to put in these effects and get something to look cool pretty quickly so it, it really is a phenomenal program for being free. Inkscape is like GIMP in the fact that it's an image editor, but the difference is, is that Inkscape can actually edit vector images. And what a vector image is, is an image that can be sized or scaled to any size that you want, and it will never lose its quality. It will always keep the same quality, which is very useful. Now, let's talk about compatibility. Blender is compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. OBS is compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux also. The Unreal Engine is completely free and you can export your game to several platforms. The App Store, Android, HTML5, which is browser, Linux, Mac, Oculus Rift, Steam, Windows, Xbox 360, and PlayStation. It is a like high graphical gaming engine and it has a lot of tutorials that you can um, you know look from to learn and draw information from however Unreal Engine requires a 5% royalty once you exceed the revenue of three thousand dollars so if your game makes past three thousand dollars then you have to give five percent of everything that you make up to that point so let's say you make a hundred thousand dollars you only have to give them five thousand dollars and you keep ninety five thousand dollars considering you get a fully fledged game engine that seems pretty fair to me GIMP is compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. HitFilm 3 has been used by Rocket Jump, which is Freddie Wong, Corridor Digital, which is another famous um, YouTube channel on YouTube, and Film Riot. So uh, HitFilm 3 is free, and it's been used by a lot of um, uh, people who uh, know how to use special effects. Inkscape is compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. And another one, this is an honorable mention, Keaton Live. Some would say that it's actually comparable to Adobe Premiere. Which Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe for more great content. Have a great day.